All right, let's do some Galaga. This is one of my favorite arcade games ever. Probably have to say it is my favorite arcade game ever, especially in the shooter genre. Um, one of my favorite Atari. Well, it's not made by Atari, but you know what I mean. Favorite Atari console game. Uh, this is the 7800 version, and I am missing this badly because I am trying to look through the camera instead of at the TV in front of me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Galaga, most people don't know, is actually a sequel to Galaxian. Which, as far as I can tell, never took off as nearly as much as this one. Because when you think about spaceship shooters in this style, you think this is Galaga. You never would second guess this to be Galaxian. But Galaxian was almost identical to this. Now, for anybody who doesn't know how uh, Galaga operates, basically they come out in waves as you were watching, and most of the ships just dive on you and shoot at you. But there's one ship that can come down and abduct you, and if they do, you lose the life, but you can get it back in the form of a secondary ship to use. Um, right now I'm on the what they call the challenging stage which is just like a bonus round where you can shoot a lot better than I can and actually hit something and gain a lot of points. I know if you hit them all I think you get an extra thousand. I used to be pretty good at this. I used to play this in the opening the Tekken 1 on the PS1 there was this game while it loaded and I used to you know almost get a perfect score with it. Not so much on here. Um, once again, I'm using the Master System controller just because I feel like it's a little more accurate to use. This game isn't terrible to use with the official American 7800 controller. But that controller is just difficult overall. It was just something the back that Atari always did, you know, giant joysticks. You know, I, I never thought they worked. But in the beginning, nobody really knew what they were doing anyway. Now, while I can say I'm not particularly good at perfect hits all the time with this game. I would say that I am decently good at getting up in the rounds. I have played this in the arcade. Um, I believe it had a trackball actually. Um, it might have been a... Well, how about that? <laughs> it might have been like a multi-arcade system that just so happened to have a trackball and it worked with it. See, normally I'd let them abduct me if I had another ship in my reserve, but I don't. So I would die. And other scorpion ships, too. So much going on on the screen. You have to be careful when you go in to take a shot because you'll end up dying. If they didn't hang out so low to the bottom, I would have an easier time. I need to give them a life. I don't know how many points an extra life is in this game. I don't remember. How about that? <laughs> that answered my question. Now, they typically, 
as the levels go on, you die a lot, obviously. But the only thing that really seems to change is their speed. Their formations don't change too much. Um, the amount that they shoot at you doesn't change too much. These challenging stages need to come harder. That's for sure. So your ship isn't even faster than their ship. So you can't even chase after him if you wanted to. Now anybody that owns a 7800 owes it to themselves to get this game. Um, it's not expensive anyway. You know, you can find this easily for under $10, probably for around 5 The 7800 definitely does this game very well. In fact, the only thing I would say is the sound is the only thing a little different than the arcade. The graphics are pretty much identical, including the flickering stars in the background. Um, of course, the arcade version it seemed to have more of a reverby sound to it, where everything had you know, a lot of echo. When you blew something up, it sounded like you were in a tunnel, which was just kind of showing off arcade sound back in the day, but... And I blew up. Almost made it to the next round. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Hope everybody enjoys Galaga. This is a classic. 42% uh, <laughs> accuracy. Yeah, I'm not that great. If you can see, it says 1984. Like I said in a previous video, this game, uh, the system originally came out in 84, and it was shelved until 87, but it, it seems like most of the games that are on it were actually developed in 84, and then were just shelved until 87. Um, I don't know what games were released at the original launch. I don't have the original launch system. It has like extra features on the console that never got used. Um, but yeah, that, that's Galaga on the 7800. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.